main screen turn on. The 3DS. A handheld that I did not initially intend on buying until Smash 4 it was announced and that it would be released before the Wii U version. Smash is just a system seller like that. Now this system needs to be replaced. The uh, A and X buttons do not work properly anymore. And apart from that, I at some point dropped the thing on the ground and the stylus of it also broke, so I'm using an old one from the DS Lite. So, in order to get a new one, I actually combined it with something else that I wanted. A 3DS with game capture software and hardware in it that I ordered from Katsukiri, straight from Japan. Now, I ordered and paid for this on the 17th of November uh, in 2015, but it didn't actually get shipped until the 9th of April of this year. So that's about a five months in between there. So that's something to take into account if you're interested in one of these. And of course we're at the end of June now, so that's how long it's actually taken me to open this up, but that's beside the point. I'm interested in seeing what color I got, because I don't think there was the option to choose for that, so let's open this up and see. Box in the package. I will laugh if this turns out as being pink. Cable that I also ordered with it. And the thing itself. New Nintendo 3DS. So there's a piece of paper with this explaining um, how to install the drivers, how to capture and everything. Perfect. I'll look into that in a bit. Let's open this one up. Now obviously it's already been opened. I mean they needed to take it out to install the, the hardware and such. Everything's still here. Manual, AR codes. Very fun, though useless. And the 3DS itself. Nice and white. Colors, uh, the button colors are like they are on the uh, European uh, SNES controller. So that's pretty sweet. Obviously no charger, but I've got a, a bundle of uh, DS's already, so that's no worry. The extra C-stick that this uh, new one has. Volume button is on the top screen. A place for the face plates to go, which I would assume this is. Shoulder buttons. Obviously the phone rings. To continue, shoulder buttons. And let's see where the stylus goes. It actually goes in the bottom. It looks pretty different from the normal one. Game slot is in the bottom. But you know, nobody's interested in that. There's probably already uh, tons of these videos. I would assume that this slot here is where you plug in the cable to the computer. I'll try that out, see if I can figure things out, and then I'll show some footage from that uh, up next. 
It's the end of August now, and this is a pretty exciting moment for me. It's the first time I'm turning my new Nintendo 3DS on. I have it plugged into the computer. OBS is running, as you can see, so all I should have to do now is turn on the power of the handheld to get an image. Let's see if we can get this to work. Alright, awesome. It really is as easy as plug and play. Now, I know this program has several different options um, on how the screens are displayed, and this will probably definitely be something to uh, tweak per game. And it's really as easy as a uh, click on a button, as it seems here. You can also only display the upper one, uh, have some space in between them, add space, reduce. This is... It's very easy to operate. And how exactly you will do this will, like I said, probably depend on uh, the game you're recording. So as for now, this is the end of this video. I'm going to try to transfer my data from my old 3DS to the new one, and then see if I can record something to use in the future. So I hope to see you next video.